Hello everyone, I'm the French Monk and welcome back to another update video on Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. For those who have played the Mountain Blade games already, you guys should more or less feel familiar with the productive enterprises system that the game provides. If you're not, allow me to explain. When visiting and entering major cities and when taking a stroll around, you should be able to meet with the merchant guild and when you meet this person representing the merchant guild you can actually buy land on which you can place a building that produces and sells goods for you giving you a steady income just as in the real world prices can fluctuate according to the supply and demand so if you have a good knowledge of the market you'll be making a lot of money now the same system is implemented in the sequel of warband namely bannerlord Players can choose out of a list of enterprises. Some of the examples I give to you are a brewery, which obviously produces beer from grain, a mill, which produces flour from grain, and a pottery, which produces pottery from clay. And so obviously there are many more businesses to choose from. There is a difference with the warband system compared to the one that they are implementing in Bannerlord. As in Bannerlord, the productive enterprise is now actually linked to physical locations in each town. This means you can actually walk into town and choose from a number of different rentable buildings that can serve as a location for your business. I think this is actually a pretty, pretty great feature. I mean, I think it will make the player feel more immersed in this world. Like getting to choose your own location and all of that without any preset locations. But what's even more interesting is that the AI lords can now establish multiple businesses themselves and in the same town as yours. This means that if a lord starts a brewery and you have one as well in the same town, competition is fierce and it will have a negative impact on both lords' profits. Now you can use this to your advantage if a rival lord of yours is getting the upper hand, financially speaking of course, but it can in turn also be a problem, especially if you yourself are struggling and no longer have any profits. The developers do mention that this feature of the game was actually a serious task for them and that it took them a lot of work. And I can see why on one hand, but on the other hand, I think it's going to work out pretty well for them. What do you guys think? Do you like the economical system that the game provides? I mean can't just be war, looting and raiding only, right? You gotta have some other cool mechanics and systems in the game and I personally think that this one is, is pretty great. I mean, I probably say this because I, I studied economics myself, but anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.